Hi, my name is Shane over here at Rensselaer Honda, and today we're going to go over the different charging methods for Honda Prolog. Now behind me we have a Prolog EX, which gets around 296 miles for the range, which is great. And then on top of that, Honda has partnered with one of the world's largest charging networks, so finding a charging station is super easy. All you have to do is pull up the maps on your car display and hit the charging icon, and you'll be able to go through a list of different charging stations in your area. And then if you want to plan ahead and look for charging stations before you even get into your car, you could download the Honda Link app on your phone and browse through the charging stations that way. And on top of public charging, Honda also has a couple of other ways to charge your vehicle at home and on the go, and we're going to go over that right now. All right, so the first charging method we're going to go over today is the portable charging kit. And with the portable charging kit, you just get this nice little bag here, and you open it up. And you'll see there's two different ways to charge your vehicle in this kit. The first way is with this 120 volt plug, which just plugs right into your standard outlet at your house. Um, this is definitely the most convenient because uh, it works with pretty much uh, every outlet that you have. Um, but it definitely is the slowest. At, it only gives you about 4.2 miles of charge per hour. Um, but it works good if you're going on a trip and um, there's no charging stations around and you have a couple days or two or three days to charge it, you plug this in and in about two or three days you should have a full charge. Um, the other method is with this plug here and this is the 240 volt appliance plug and with this you get about 23.2 um, miles of charge uh, for every hour. So you could get a full charge um, so you could get a full charge at about 13 hours with this plug. Um, so this way is definitely uh, the more convenient and fastest way. Um, but you just need to make sure you have the right outlet for this. Um, this is, this plugs into the same outlet that you would probably have for your dryer or some other appliance like that. Um, and then to plug it in, <coughs> it's, a, it's a super easy. All you do is take this out. This end goes into your vehicle. Um, and you'll see this box here. So all you do is take this end and uh, plug it in there, and then this will just go right into your outlet. And then from there, you just take this plug, bring it over to your vehicle, open it up, oh. press that to open it up. Take this cover off, take this thing off down here, plug it in, and you'll be good to go. For the, for the second charging method we're going to go over here today is a home charging station. Um, and now this would be uh, installed directly into your home, and it does require a dedicated 240 volt line, so you would need, a, you would need to hire a professional electrician to install it for you. Um, but it's definitely worth investment if you plan on doing a lot of home charging as it gets around 35 miles of charge per hour. Um, so you could get a full charge in your vehicle in about eight hours, which is about five hours faster than the portable kit. So again, if you plan on doing a lot of home charging, it's definitely worth the investment. Um, now this is just the demo model. Um, so it has a shorter cord, but just like the portable kit, it comes with a 25 foot cord, so you don't need to park your vehicle too close to the charging kit, it gives you a little more flexibility, and you just take this end and plug it into your vehicle, and you're good to go. And that's it. So let's go check out uh, the third way of charging your vehicle. All right, so the last charging method we're going to talk about here today is the public charging station. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, Honda has partnered with one of the world's largest charging networks, so finding a charging station is super easy. And the Honda Prolog is also DC fast charge compatible. That means you could get about 65 miles for every 10 minutes of charge. That means you could get a full charge in about 45 minutes or a half charge in about 20 minutes. And then to use it, all you got to do is come up to the charging station, unplug it, open the charging door, and plug it in, and you're, and you're good to go. And like I said, you get a half charge in about 20 minutes, so on your way from home from work, you got to stop doing errand. You could plug it in at a charging station, run to the store, and do what you have to do. 
and then by the time you get out, you'll have enough charge uh, to get on with, your, with the rest of your day. So as you can see, with a great range of 296 miles for a full charge, um, the three different ways of charging, the huge charging public, the huge public charging network, the ability to charge at your home, and then also the port with the portable charging kit, you never have to worry about running out of charge, and you never even have to worry about being inconvenienced by having to charge. You can literally charge anywhere you anywhere you are, and uh, with a few different options usually. And and on top of that, Honda has a lot of different incentives to put money back in your pocket. Um, depending on which charging method you prefer. Um, so if you have any questions regarding that, feel free to stop in and give us a call. Or if you have any other basic questions, feel free to drop a comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks.